Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Now, this is the sequel to Kingsman, The Secret Service, or whatever the first one is called. I actually haven't seen the first one. I've only seen excerpts from it from, on, from the internet. So, um, I do want to see it. Actually, I rented this thinking this was the first one movie, when it really it wasn't. But it isn't the first time that I've actually watched a franchise out of sequence. In fact, it's very rare for me to actually watch a franchise in, um, in any kind of order. Proper order, anyways. I mean, with How to Train Your Dragon, I watched the first one and the third one. I didn't see the second one, so I didn't watch the entire trilogy. I still want to watch the second one, I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, with um, the Finding Nemo Actually, that's a duology. Actually, there's only two movies to it. I watched Finding Dory. I have never actually seen Finding Nemo. Um, with, um, I don't know, it just goes on and on. Um, with the Thor movies, I have, I've only actually seen Thor Ragnarok. I haven't seen, like, the first Thor movie or the second one. Um, with the Captain American franchise, I haven't seen the first one, but I've seen um, Civil, Civil War, I believe it was, and... Uh, with the Avengers franchise, I've only actually seen like um, Endgame and um, Infinity War, I believe, were the only actual Avenger, Avengers movies I've actually seen. So it really makes watching movies interesting if you don't know what's going on. But thankfully for this movie, it doesn't really matter because they do a really good job of explaining things. In this particular movie, um, we follow Eggsy, the hero, I would say, from the first movie. Um, and then there is a revenge attack by Charlie, who tried to join the Kingsmen, but he was rejected. Um, he ends up getting his arm blown off in the first movie, and they really make a good use of that, because now he has a robotic arm, which causes a lot of trouble, basically. Um, Eggsy is able to escape from Charlie, but there are a lot of casualties later on, and um, so then you follow Eggsy Merlin, and they find out some really amazing secrets about Kentucky, actually. That's all I'm going to go into that. If you remember from the first movie, um, that's where Harry got shot in the face, um, was in Kentucky, when he was trying to track down, I think it was Valentine or something like that. Again, this is just information I gleaned from the internet. I haven't actually seen the movie. Anyways, um, you find out a lot of interesting things about Kentucky in there, and how there is an, a, a, another organization similar to Kingsman, except it's called Statesman. And they sell whiskey and liquor instead of tailored suits. So really, really fascinating. Anyways, um, it was kind of a comedy. Um, there were some really graphically violent scenes that were basically done for laughs. Um... So, um, while there was a lot of violence going on, it was kind of done for comic effect. Like when somebody gets fed through a meat grinder and all that comes out is clothing. That was kind of interesting, actually. But anyways, um, but yeah, basically, um, there is a villain called Poppy Adams, who, um, seems kind of ditzy, actually, for, you know, a main villain, but apparently she has taken over the entire drug trade and laced all of the narcotics that she sells with this virus. Now, you have to keep in mind, this was three years, I want to say, before COVID came along. But um, anyways, this virus presents with a blue rash, and then eventually you can't breathe, and eventually your eyeballs blow up. It's explode. It's really, really frightening. Um, really, really a fascinating movie. Um, lots of action, very well paced. Um, there is a scene near the beginning where um, Eggsy shows how badly he needs to get home when he actually jumps into a sewer in order to um, to get home. Comes out with this nice suit smeared with all you know all kinds of sewer stuff. Anyways, um, I think that at the end of um, the first movie, Eggsy, it is shown that Eggsy has a relationship with um, the princess of. I believe they said Scandinavia in the first one, but it's actually um, Sweden, I believe, or something like that. So um, it's really an important dinner. But anyways, I found that this movie was really well paced, really easy to follow. Um, there were even a lot of um, amazing twists and turns 
so you never really knew what to expect, and I do like that. Um, I liked the concept of um, there being a stateside, well, American version of Kingsman out there, and how they teamed up. That was pretty cool. Um, and I liked how they funded their organization different ways, how Kingsman funded their organization through tailoring and um, Statesman basically funded their organization through um, Moonshine and Liquor. Anyways, um, it was still fascinating. Um, there were some continuity things that I felt weren't really addressed. One thing was that Eggsy's watch, or really any of the Kingsman watches, or even any of the Statesman's watches, were supposedly able to, to hack into any device, yet they needed a password in order to get into the um, into this laptop. I mean, you'd think they could just use their watch. I mean, there was even a time when, because um, supposedly anything that has a processor or circuitry, you're able to tap into. They could have basically, Eggsy's watch could have been damaged so that they probably would need the password, but to me, um, it just was kind of a plot hole that didn't seem to really make much sense. I believe this movie was followed up by a prequel, actually. The third movie was actually a prequel called King's Man, which was about the founding of the Kingsman orga organization. So, anyways, overall, this was a really good movie, and you should check it out. Um, there was, like I say, some continuity issues that... Um, and maybe some plot holes, but they didn't really seem to detract from the movie as a whole. It just left me with some questions. Anyways, but yeah, the soundtrack was always driving and a, and a real banger, you know? Um, I think that's what the Brits say when a song is really good, they call it a banger. I know that um, even some of the people, like even from Austria, not to be confused with Australia, um, I think they use that term too, banger, for um, a really good song. Anyways, um, overall, this movie was really, really good, and um, maybe they'll make a sequel. They, they probably could. I think they are, actually. When I did research, I think they did mention a sequel coming out in, like, 2024. So um, that's, that's something to look forward to. This was basically, I think, originally based off of a comic book. I mean, I know The Watchmen was, but this is... I don't know. I think this was the origin of this franchise was from a comic book, so that's pretty cool, too. Um, I'm not sure how true the adaptations are to the comic book, but um, I know that that's a common complaint these days, is that movies don't really follow the, the source material very closely. And that's basically um, a complaint that's basically as old as time itself. Anyways, I thought that this was a really good movie, and that you should check it out. Um... But anyways, with all that being said, um, all these opinions I'm expressing are just opinions, and so you can either take them or leave them. But either way, um, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved, and have a great day.